we are in front of the panel dedicated to teaching in the Marine Corps and a display of books used in the training of students in the Navy schools located there. Teaching in the Marine Corps has a long tradition and has always been a faithful reflection of the vicissitudes that the institution has undergone. From the creation of the Corps, in 1537, until the reform of the General Intendant of the Navy Don José Patino y Rosales, who created the Marine Battalion Corps in 1717, training was carried out in the units themselves. As of the reform, the Corps is nourished by officers of the General Corps who are trained in the Royal Company of Marine Guards and by officers of the Army. In 1827, by Royal Decree of Fernando VII, the Royal Navy Brigade was created through the merger of the Royal Navy Infantry and Artillery Corps. As a result, in 1830, the Royal Navy Brigade Academy was established, the forerunner of the Corps' own schools for the training of its command cadres. It was in the San Carlos Barracks. With the reform of Roca de Togors in 1848, the officers who joined the Corps did so from the Naval Military College, completing their training in the battalions under the figure of the cadet teacher. This teaching system was maintained until the inauguration of the General Central Academy of the Marine Infantry on May 31, 1879, because of the initiative and management capacity of Field Marshal Mr. José Montero y Subiela. The creation of the academy was due to the attempt to unify teaching, improve its quality and follow the criteria of maintaining a single training center for all Marines. This task is still carried out by the General Albacete y Fusta Marine Infantry School, currently located in Cartagena. In the exhibitor you can see textbooks in the context of their time. At the beginning of the 19th century, in the absence of its own publications, the Corps used army publications and translations of foreign publications. In front, to the left, two books of those considered of military interest are exposed. Behind these two books, there appears the Manual of the Cannon Cape of 1881, useful in the artillery school and regulations for the Corps. The pages dedicated to a landing cannon are exposed. With the creation of the Central General Academy, translations of foreign tactical publications by Marine Corps officers proliferated. Likewise, the publication of its own publications such as the Workers' Squad, considered current, Spenders, who lead the parades, begins. With the creation of the Special Group in 1957, the manuals of the North American Marines began to be used and translated since their means and their organic templates were adopted. Subsequently, they began to make regulatory publications of the Marine Corps, known as RIM. The battalion manual is exposed. The manual used in the adult school for the literacy of the recruits is also exposed. Before entering the exhibition area, you can see in a niche an oyster stone corbel, the building's construction material and extracted from Monte del Duque. 